A new no lift option has been added to en route, and this will allow you to take toolpaths that have been created and connect them together so en route will not lift in between cutting out the objects. To demonstrate this, we have a few different rectangles on screen, and we're going to go to the routing offset toolpath and apply a toolpath. And we want to make sure in this case that the, there's an entry exit to this toolpath. So here I'm just using a standard entry exit, and I have an angle of, of two degrees for my entry and my exit. So I'm going to hit apply, and we see that the toolpaths apply, and, and here the, uh, the, the toolpath is going just outside the part where it's, where it's ramping in. So now if I want to initiate the daisy chain or the no lift cutting option, what I would do is select the shapes and come here and choose the daisy chain option. And what you can see is it's going to change the, the toolpath a little bit. It's going to plunge off the part, then begin to do its cut, and it will actually cut all three of these parts without raising out of the material. So there might be certain circumstances or certain materials where plunging uh, is not uh, is not handled very well and it's it's better to not have to plunge several times or uh, as as this feature is commonly used in the fabrication industry it allows you to reduce the number of pierces so uh, this no no lift function has been added to in route 5 and is is used for curve compensation as well as toolpathing